I absolutely love this thing now. That is 11 episodes in the garage creating my ultimate SMCR. I mean, this is as far as you can really go with the bike. I've more of that. The boxes of bits I've got in the garage now, I'm sure I'm not far off being able to build, build another bike. <laughs> There's that many bits gone onto this machine. SM Pro wheels, loads of the whole Tecmo catalogue thrown at it really, including the full titanium exhaust system, um, Rottweiler airbox kits, uh, Power Commander, with the appropriate map, different wheels, different headlight, LED headlights from Super Mofuls, dashboard companions, reworked seats with a nice foam in it to make it a bit more comfortable, custom graphics kits, new chain of sprockets, new brakes, different calipers. I've done a fair few mods on this machine and this video is all about testing those mods on the, on the road. You've waited 11 episodes of me in the garage tinkering with this machine. Let's get out on the road. Let's see how it rides. I'm, uh, I'm beyond excited. Let's go. Listen to this. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa! And the brakes, oh, the brakes are so good. The brakes are so good. Now, full confession, I, I have ridden this bike before. It's, you know, I've got used to it. I've bedded all the brakes in. There's been a few little teething problems, which we'll go into. But overall, I'm absolutely over the moon. The way this thing pulls now, the, the way this ride, it's transformed it into an absolute animal now. I mean, these were, these were, you know, these were cool. you could really call these an animal before. Now, with that Rotti kit, the power commander, the full system, what it's got is just instant grunt. Instant grunt. Hang on, before we go any further, to enjoy this machine fully now, you do have to actually turn off the traction control. Before, you could actually ride this with the traction control on, and it'll let you do wheelies and stuff, which is all, you know, which is great. But now, because it's so abrupt, all the way the power comes in, I mean, it's fuel beautifully. I'm not saying it's snatch or anything, but it's just bang, the, the, the torque is bang in your face. And it pulls the wheel up really aggressively which makes the traction control kick in and drop the wheel the anti-wheelie and traction are built in on this bike which i hate i wish they'd have separate traction and anti-wheelie on this but it doesn't so with the before it would let you do some wheelies you know you'd have to get quite high before it would kill it now it's so aggressive the anti-wheelie comes in straight away so it does mean you have to turn off the traction control whenever you ride it if you want to have a bit of fun <laughs> so so much grunt and the volume from that Tecmo system oh he's going over there the volume from that Tecmo system is perfect I've taken out the baffles you know that that rear can is a twin core system I've taken both the baffles out and uh, it's, it's loud but it's not too obnoxiously loud it's absolutely perfect and it's got a wonderful brap sound to it This is the sort of roads which are just built for this thing. These sorts of little lanes like this. Crest in the road. Hell yeah. Sharp left, blipper. Bit of foot out action, Jay, bit of foot out action. Turn every back lane into a racetrack. <laughs> it's all clear. Another thing which is vastly improved is the front brake. The front brake was always good but I've put on the M4 caliper 
and the motor master disc and that front brake now is savagely powerful it's actually taken me a little while to get it bled it's been really hard to bleed that front brake and i think the problem is is this run of cable which goes straight down to the caliper so long you get air trapped in this piece here and there's not enough sort of movement within the within the brake lever to push that air out before it, you run out of lever movement and the air just seeps back up again so the only way I've been able to bleed this front brake, I've tried reverse bleeding it as well, but with the reverse bleeding, because it's got the ABS pump, you can't pump it back into it past the ABS pump, it just won't, it just won't take the oil. So the only way I've found to bleed this so you can get all of the air out of the system is to take the caliper off of the, the mount and do it up in the air. So I had another disc which I strapped in the air and, and mounted it with the caliper above the master cylinder if you like so the air is going up that was the only way i managed to get all of the air out of the system so if you're struggling to believe the brakes on the smcr try that trick at the bottom end it is it's raucous it's absolutely raucous now so good <laughs> sharp left on the blipper <laughs> oh power in second wow yeah <laughs> shit third gear wheelies no problem at all on this now oh it just throws you back in the seat when you open it up Oh, <laughs> it's, it is, oh, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. What's amazing is the drive at that bottom end, if you're going around a corner, you go on the power and it just pulls, pulls out of the corners beautifully. You know, so much grunt there. Ah, third. third gear on the power. Hell yeah, it does not need re-gearing. I'll keep the 120 mile hour top speed, thanks. If it's pulling up through the gears first, second and third on the power, that's more than enough for me. So it's not very YouTube friendly this by now though. I've actually shed a lot of weight from this. We'll talk about the competition at the end. If you're waiting to see the results of the competition, wait till the end of the video, I'll tell you who's won all of those Silkaline goodies. But I've shed a lot of weight from this machine. You can really feel it, the way it flicks around compared to how it used to be. I mean, I've done a lot of mods to this. My favourite mod, actually I think one of my favourite mods, apart from the power, you know, the Rottweiler thing is what's transformed the power delivery. But outside of the power delivery, my favourite thing is the, the companion, the Compan companion. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Just knowing, what I love about it is the oil temperature it tells you. So you know when your bike is warm. And what's really surprised me about these is just how quickly they cool down. I mean, it takes a good 15, 20 minutes for that oil to reach operating temperature. And when you park the bike up, even for like 20 minutes, it loses so much temperature from the oil. So that's really surprised me just how, you know, how long, how long you need to really wait to warm the bike up before you start thrashing it. It takes a long time for that oil to come up to temperature. And I, I really like oil temperature gauges. I don't know why they give you water temperature on bikes. I'd much rather know what my oil temperature is doing than what my water temperature is doing. But uh, yeah, the, the Compan has been very, very good. I love that. It also gives you outside air temperature as well, which is handy. 10 degrees. It ain't warm. Wow! Wow, she pulls like a bloody steam train. Oh, from 
brake is amazing. The power it's got is incredible. Brake! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh, it's so much grunt. So much grunt. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I, oh, how to compare. It feels like it's got another third more power. I know it hasn't got another third more power, but just the way it's got that bottom end, it's definitely got another third more power at the bottom, without question. It's exactly how I wanted it to be. It, it's, 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 I think it's exceeded my expectations actually. I knew it was going to be pokey with that rotty kit and everything. I knew it was going to be talky, but it's like a different bike. It feels like a, a 500 EXC. You know, it feels like it's got that snap that the EXCs have as a supermoto. It actually, it's, it's much more of an animal than my old 500. Really, it's got so much more grunt than that. And now the weight is, there's been a decent sum of weight shaved off it. We'll talk about that later. It feels really, really lightweight. Oh, it's, it's, uh, second. Straight up, straight up on the power. It is, oh, it's a weapon. Brand hatch, here I come. Keeping the front wheel down is, it's impossible. It's impossible to keep the front wheel down on this bike now. <laughs> oh dear, it just pulls it up at any opportunity. I think it is the ultimate fun machine. I cannot think of a more fun motorcycle than this. think of a bike that you could have more fun on than one of these and you know and if you if you do what I've done and do the performance mods I've done <laughs> the throttle now especially with that spacer in it is just so so beautiful. I mean, it's really aggressive, but it's also beautifully fueled. I mean, I was going to get this set up on the dyno and get a custom map done, but now I've got the full Tecmo system. The generic map I have is for the full system with the Rotti kit, so it's an identical spec to my bike. So I will still go up and get this dyno, and we'll see if we can improve on that with a custom map. But it, I think it is very, very, very close. To where it needs to be. Morning doggies! So there we go. Amazing. I love it. It's incredible. The SMCR has been transformed, exactly what I wanted. I'm so pleased with how it's come out. It's an absolute beast. I can't think of anything I would have rather done differently. Competition time, who are the winners? Well, Mavis, do you want to just give a quick recap of uh, of what, what, what they can win? Why not? Silkaline Pro Engine Oil, four liters. Spray chain cleaner. Pro chain oil. Brake and chain cleaner. Wash off spray. So that's the prizes which are on offer. Now we have three winners who came uh, very close actually to getting the exact weight. So let me tell you, total weight loss from the bike was 7.7 .7 kilo shed. That's everything I've swapped out um, and replaced with lighter stuff, um, stuff like you know tail tidies with smaller tail tidies on etc. But I've also added some weight to the bike. I've added um, things like the power commander, you know, the power commander unit itself, the uh, cockpit assistant, um, crash protection, you know, that sort of stuff. So not only have I shed weight, I've put stuff on it which wasn't on the bike originally. So 
That's what, and this is what they asked for the weight of. So the total weight loss overall, by the time I've put stuff on the back, is 6.038 kilos. So just a smidgen over six kilos shed from the bike. And I had loads of entries into this. Thank you everyone who, who uh, enrolled and all sorts of guesses from 20 kilos to two kilos. But uh, six, six, 0.038 is the figure we're looking for. The person who came the closest was Sam R1. Sam R1 guessed six kilos, 0.20 grams. So six kilos, 0.020. Um, so he was first. Second, we had Not Now. Not Now guessed exactly six kilos. And in third place, we have Melton 21 who guessed 6.1 kilos, so 6 kilos, 100 grams. So there we go, that's the three winners. What I've done, I've actually sent messages to you guys via your YouTube channels. I've checked you all subscribed, that's all fine. Um, I've sent you how to contact me. So contact me in the method I've sent you, do, or, or send me an email, look on my site the emails, drop me an email and I'll sort out sending off that circling gear to you. So thanks very much, competition done. I must admit, I've been using these Silkaline products. They sent me quite a lot, so I've got a bit left over for myself. And it's actually very good. What is very good is this uh, all-in-one fluid. Uh, I guess you could call it, it's a bit like a, a WD-40 alternative, but, but better, obviously. This is also very good as well, this Prep Pro Prep fluid, which is basically just a spray on sort of prep fluid. So you can spray it over everything, gives a nice shine, protects, repels, water so that is also very good and i've been using that as well so i've got a few cans of this left over for my personal use and it's actually really really good stuff so i know the guys who's won the whole package you're going to enjoy it get spraying and get your bikes protected so that is the end of the smcr build how can that be the end of the smcr build it's been amazing it's absolutely loved doing this bike i've now got a bike which is just unique an incredible spec there's still some things which I may still do to the bike. I may do a couple of revisited videos, perhaps over the winter. Um, a couple of little things I thought of which I wouldn't mind adding, but uh, basically that's it. So I'll get out on this. I've got to get some new tires on this. I've got some new Michelin rubber coming for this very soon because the rear is now down to the wear bars, more or less. The, the standard Bridgestone has had its chips. So we'll get the tires on and then we'll go out. We'll do some more riding, bring you along with me and you can help enjoy that. I want to do another track day on this bike as well, so Brands Hatch maybe on the SMCR, and uh, that's it. But thanks for watching, really appreciate it as always, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks very much.